Welcome to Daggy Made Easy. I'm your host Ching En. This is a bite-sized companion where you can learn anything and everything there's to know about Daggy. Come along with me as we uncover the power of Daggy and feel the heartbeat of Taiwan. Hi, welcome back to the show. This week we'll continue our journey into the world of Daggy, exploring how to describe different tastes. Today we will introduce even more words you can use in everyday conversations with locals. But before we dive into this week's lesson, let's take a quick look back at what we covered last time. In Daegi, the term "giam jia" refers to the saltiness or mildness of a taste. "Giam" means savory, while "jia" denotes blandness. When tasting a dish, you may say you want to qi gam jia, where qi means to try something. We also use seng to describe something sour, and ko for bitterness. For example, if you are not used to drinking coffee, black coffee might taste bitter to you. Uh, we call coffee ga bi, and drinking coffee is lim ga bi. So to say the coffee tastes very bitter. You would say, "Ga bi jin ko." Interestingly, taste in Daegi can also be used metaphorically to describe human emotions. We use "ko" to express that life is tough. To describe life's ups and downs, we might say, "Giam seng ko jia," which literally means saltiness, sourness, bitterness, and blandness. Does your language or culture have similar expressions? We love to hear from you, so feel free to send us an email or message us through RTI's social media platforms and share your thoughts. All right, let's jump back into this week's lesson. So far, we've learned a few words to describe different tastes. Now, let me ask: Do you have friends who are really into spicy food? My roommate is a huge fan of spicy hot pot and goes to spicy hot pot restaurant almost every week. But not everyone can handle the intense heat, numbing sensation, and the sweat that comes with eating hot peppers. In Daegi, we use the word "hiam" to describe the strong spiciness of a dish. As I mentioned earlier, "jin" means very. So if you want to say something is very spicy, you would say "jin hiam." You might also wonder how to say chili pepper in Daegi. There are two different terms for it. I grew up calling it "hiam jiuwa," but some people also call it "huan jiuwa." Listen, are you listening? <laughs> This is the sound of my country. This is the sound of Taiwan. <laughs> Taiwan, a small island with a whole world of sounds. Now let's shift gears a bit and talk about something that Taiwan is incredibly proud of: its tea culture. In various regions in Taiwan, farmers cultivate a wide range of tea plants. And pass down tea making techniques from generation to generation. Taiwan isn't just about green tea and black tea; it boasts an impressive range of tea varieties. According to the Agricultural Ministry's Tea and Beverage Research Station, there are around 25 tea cultivars as of 2023, including well-known varieties like Jinshan, Ruby, and Cuiyu. Tea also has a unique sweet aftertaste, known as gum. This lingering sweetness is recognized by the sweet receptors on your taste buds. These receptors detect specific molecules, such as amino acids, which then send a signal to your brain, giving you the sensation of a savory and sweet taste. Now let's review what we've learned today. We covered the word "hiam," which describes strong spiciness, and learned how to say "very spicy" as "jin hiam." We also discussed two terms for chili pepper in Daegi: 
Hiam Jiu'a and Huan Qiu'a. Then we explore Taiwan's rich tea culture and the concept of gam, the sweet aftertaste in tea that delights your senses. If you ever have the chance to travel to Taiwan, I highly recommend including a visit to a tea farm or a tea house in your itinerary. Tea is a vital part of Taiwan's culinary landscape, and it's an experience you won't want to miss. That's all for today's lesson. Thank you for tuning in. Don't forget to share your thoughts and experiences with us through our email or social media platforms. We love to hear from you. Until next time, keep practicing your Tai Chi and enjoy discovering new flavors in both language and culture. Bye. You're listening to Radio Taiwan International, and if you're liking what you're hearing, we got so much more on our website. Go to en.rti.org.tw and you'll see a programs tab. Click it and pick your flavor. From current events to pop culture to island advice to fantastic fiction, come check us out at en.rti.org.tw.